Mr. Hegedorn from uh, Minnesota. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate you holding this hearing. The great state of Minnesota. Thank you. Yes, it is. We invite you up any time. Uh, Ambassador, Undersecretary, nice to see you again. We've had conversations in the past about these issues. And uh, my message to you and to anyone in the administration, including the President and Secretary, I've spoken to them personally, is that we appreciate the work that you're trying to do here to expand our markets, to drive down barriers. It's critically important to our farmers. They, they really would like to see progress across the board. We understand that China's a tough customer. Uh, but, uh, you know, sometimes we have to deal with what's at hand. And I think what's at hand right now, as we've heard, uh, 900 egg groups across the country say, we need this United States-Mexico-Canada agreement. It's critically important. I hear that in Minnesota, not just in our southern Minnesota district, but all across. Uh, all the ag groups say the same thing. We need to get this done. Uh, the president of our P Farm Bureau, Kevin Papp, is here today. He's delivered that message personally. Heck, he's here today to deliver it again. And uh, I tell you, we, we uh, put together a letter I did with Congressman Emmer and Congressman Stauber recently, and we sent it to the president, to the speaker. We said we support the agreement. Uh, it's going to be great for Minnesota, not just for agriculture, but mining, manufacturing, medical, on, on it goes. And that we need an expeditious vote. And if we can't get this agreement through and build momentum, then how do we expect to accomplish anything with China, Japan, the EU, and others? So we appreciate what you're doing. Our message is keep, keep working hard. Let's get those agreements and knock down the barriers and make that happen. Now, you've been doing some work recently in Colombia. That's great. I think we're trying to expand uh, Turkey into places like Colombia and Thailand. We're working very hard. You're doing a good job with uh, Japan. I know your beef has been actually trying to do more with pork. We appreciate that. But one country that kind of stands out to me is Taiwan. We do a lot for them. I'm a big supporter of Taiwan and, and the relations that we have with them. Uh, the United States is very generous when it comes to helping them defend their country. But they won't purchase our pork products. And I happen to represent a district, I think, second largest pork producer in the country, maybe uh, after Mr. Rouser's number one over there. What can we do to expand our markets to, uh, uh, to that country? You know, that's a topic uh, that we talk about quite often in our office, and, and how do we engage with Taiwan in a proactive and productive manner. Uh, I believe uh, there is a conversation uh, going on uh, here this week uh, on that topic, and uh, we're, you know, we continue to have those conversations all the time. We've, we really need to work with Taiwan on the ractopamine issue, and, and it's a longstanding issue that uh, we, we uh, will continue in, to engage on. A lot of our farmers, though, are, are in compliance with what they're looking for, and yet we still don't have access to their market. So, uh, that, uh, again, whatever you can do to keep pushing that, and our office would be a resource to you, whatever we can do to, to help out. Now, I am for free trade, open trade, reciprocal trade, whatever you want to call it, but when the, uh, when the other side cheats or does things to undercut U.S. interests in our companies and, and agribusinesses, that's not right. Recently, I testified on behalf of a company from our district, uh, Cambridge, that make fine quartz products. And the Chinese have been dumping into America trying to put them out of business. And I think, you know, at that point, we have to step up and make sure that the Chinese are penalized for that. Uh, similarly, uh, a company that just purchased a Schwann, CJ America, they have a, a product, a feed uh, additive, that uh, they're having troubles with because China is now dumping into the United States. Are you aware of that? And what types of... Uh, uh, work are you doing to try to, uh, to, to try to minimize that or to e even the playing field? Uh, we, uh, Under Secretary McKinney and, and, and myself and ourselves, we've really worked on the offensive side of the ball with regard to China. Uh, I would appreciate uh, working with you on, on this issue of uh, imports coming in from China to learn more about it and, and work with you to see what we can do to help. We'll, we'll make this letter available to you. And Mr. Chairman, may I... Uh, Submit my letter that we sent to the president. The Without record. objection, uh, we'll adopt the uh, submit the letter for the record with unanimous consent. If I could just add one thing, uh, without getting into great depth, feed additives was one topic that included a lot of time in our discussions with China, and and that was really our their approval of our feed additives. So I too would like to see the specific letter. I'm not. Sure. It may be we know about it. We may not. But I want you to know that was one that got a lot of attention in the discussions. Thank you. With that, I yield back, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.